Why vegetarians get sick? Well, there's no guarantee that if somebody's vegetarian, that they're eating well. Of course, vegetarians have less possibility of getting sick than, than meat eaters, meat, fish, egg eaters, because those are really heavy foods. But if somebody's eating uh, has a substantial amount of fried food in their diet, refined grades in their diet, or sugar in their diet, then they're going to have a tendency that that's exhausting their digestive system. But that not only that, you you have the you have the situation that people are you know you've got your other healthy habits that you're teaching in this course. So they may not be drinking water properly, they may not be doing proper exercise. And because we are human beings and our glandular system is subtle, maybe they're not doing asanas. And that has its importance for a lot of people. I knew one woman who was always gaining weight. She became so fat uh, that uh, she had to go in the hospital. And uh, this, uh, and then, uh, Nobody knew what to do. Then they started observing her in the hospital, and they found that even when she was only drinking water, she was gaining weight. Because the body was absorbing the water, you know, and swelling it and so on. And uh, so somebody contacted me. She was not uh, uh, doing meditation, not that kind of person. But anyway, somebody contacted me. I taught her yoga asanas. She immediately started losing weight. It was a glandular problem. So, and cardiovascular exercise may not fix that. So, asanas are also important. So, you've got, you know, you've got the, you've got all the various important habits: the water drinking, the cardiovascular exercise, the yoga, uh, uh, you can say hormonal exercises. Regular, regular fasting is being done, and proper diet is there, and the mind. Because we can easily get sick just by psychological problems. I've had many cases of people who follow everything that we're teaching. And then, for example, one woman, her fiancé broke from her, and immediately all of her skin problem came back. I had another one. When she was in our center, she was fine. But when she went back and then the stress of her work, so that didn't, you know, that couldn't function. I was guiding her for some weeks and finally I told her there's no way unless you change your job. I kept telling her that. And then the point got clear. She went off for a vacation, found she's immediately getting better. Then she she changed her job and she was happy ever after. Yeah. Um, earning less money, but with good health. So there are so many different factors, and the vegetarianism in itself is not enough. Even if somebody's following the super healthy diet, it may not be enough. But surely, I know plenty of vegetarians who who are even they might be doing some of the other things, but they're they're taking fried food and or refined grains and or sugar, and that's trouble. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're always welcome.